नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर बिंदु सतीश राव भरतनाट्यम परफॉर्मर टीचर एंड रिसर्चर दिस इज अ भरतनाट्यम वर्कशॉप ऑन बेसिक्स व्हिच वी आर डूइंग इट फॉर शिवाजी यूनिवर्सिटी द बेसिक टेक्निक्स आई विल टीच यू एंड शो यू द सम ऑफ द बेसिक टेक्निक्स व्हाट इज भरतनाट्यम व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट डांस देयर आर टू टाइप ऑफ डांस one is classical dance and one is um, folk dance we all know about the folk dance and maharashtra is very very rich about the folk dance then koli dance gondar lavni these are the very famous folk dance of maharashtra and what is the difference between folk dance and the classical dance the classical dance one which we do it in the boundaries of natya shastra and abhinay darpana whereas folk dance it is we are doing it to exhibit our happiness our sadness it may be the happiness of the highest growing crop it may be the happiness of festival in our house it can be anything like that it is performing it showing our happiness through the form of hand and bodily movement that is a folk dance Let's begin our workshop with the prayer. Any classical dance form or the folk dance form, we we'll start with the prayer. Let's begin. Om Shri Gangadhar Bade Namaha. Om Shri Gangadhar Bade Namaha. Om Shri Gangadhar Bade Namaha. O Pratyam Namaha Kaya Surya Koti Sama Prabha. निर्विघ्नम कुरु मे देवा सर्व कार्येषु सर्वदा ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः ओम आंगिकं गोवदन्यस्य वाचनं सर्ववात्मनं आहारं चन्द्रतारादि तन्नमं सात्विकमेव ओम सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वदते There are 28 Hastamudras in the language just in Abhinaya Darpana. 
I will teach you and show you some of the Hasta Mudras. We are using it repeatedly in the Adams. The first Hasta Mudra is Pataka. And the second one is Tripataka. Next one is Artha Pataka, Kattari Mukha, Mayura, Artha Chandra, Arala, Shukatundaka, Mushtisha, Shikaras Chaiva, Kapitta, Katakamuka, Suji, Chandrakala, Padma Gosha, Sarpa Shirasthata, Mruga Shirsha, Simha Mukha, Kamurola, Alapadmuka, Chaturo, Brahmanas Chaiva, Hamsasya, Hamsapakshakaha, Sandamsho, Mukudas Chaiva, Tamra Chuda, Trishulakaha, Ashta Vinshati, Hasta Namena, Namani, Vaidrava. This is the shloka of Abhinaya Darpana. It means there are 28 single hand gestures or they um, Vaidravati. Then, the sum of the Hasta Mudras which we use are Pataka, Tripataka, Katakamuka, Alapadma, and Shikara. Pataka, Tripataka, Katakamuka, Alapadma, and Shikara. These mudras will repeatedly come in our Adam session. Before starting any classical dance forms, we have to do the warm up and cool down exercises are essential. Many teachers doing many different warm up exercises. I am starting my class with the walking warm up exercises. How to walk? The walking is very essential in Bhagavad so, I use walking as for the beginning exercise for me. Taking a suchi on the one hand and holding it from the other hand and take it above your head. And then start, you have to start walk. How? Keep the heel first and then the toes. Lift the feet, hit the heel, toes. Heel, toe. Heel, toe. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, then go down with the other padma and come up to the same position, stand on the toes. And again, same, you have to go back, he Toes, heel, toes. Right? This is, you have to do it in three speed. First speed, second speed, third speed. What is the speed? The speed is, the first speed, the, what is the first speed? Double of the second speed, it will be the second speed. And the third speed will double of the second speed. That is the first speed, second speed and third speed. If you take it, this is our first speed, then this will be our second speed. And this will be our third speed. Everything you have to do with all the speeds.
day when we are sitting, you have to sit, join your toes back and you have to sit down like this. Your toes open and join the heel. That is the technique of sitting down. This is called as Mulumandi and this is called as Aramandi. This is the one of the basic postures of dance. So, doing these exercises, it will improve our Aramandi postures and the Mulumandi posture. How you have to sit like this, this is the Mulumandi posture. And join the toes or keeping a very small distance of the four fingers in between the two knees and open the toes. Sorry, I said the toes, it is a knees. Like this. This posture is called Aramandi. All our dance steps, most of the steps, will go with this posture. This is called Aramandi. Okay. Let's do next the plea exercises. How it go? Just open your feet and go down, touch the floor and get up, stand up the toes. Again, go down, touch the floor and stand high. Then, third time, join the heel, go down and come up. Go down and come up. This is also you have to do it in the three speed. First speed will be in the one time, second speed will be twice and the third speed will be the four times. Open up your hand, go down, catch the floor, Third exercise is sitting Aramandi posture. As it is a very essential in Bharatanatyam, sitting Aramandi is very essential. How much Aramandi you will sit, your dance will be beautiful more than If you sit more Aramandi, your dance will be more graceful and beautiful. So, practicing it as an exercise will add more to your dance. How you have to sit? Take the heel together or keep four finger distance in the in between the heel and go down slowly. Your knee will be side. Don't make the knee frontal. It should be side and go down as much as you can. Initially, it is difficult to sit very high at one knee. But start with slow, lesser Aramandi and increase by the when the time passes and practicing it every day. Like a bow shape. Hmm? Still using the patata is the 
mudra on the hand and shoulder level. Keep this as a Natya Rambe position. It's called as Natya Rambe position. Hmm? Then, what is Adho? Adho are the basic steps of Bharatanatya. How we want to learn, if you want to learn any language, we want to learn the alphabets of those languages. The same thing in the Bharatanatya also. Before learning items or the compositions, we have to learn the basics, the alphabets of Bharatanatya. What is the alphabet of Bharatanatya? That itself is named as Adavus. Adavu means the basic steps of Bharatanatya where we will start with different types of movements, legs and hand movements, it is called Adavus. The first Adavu is in the Bharatanatya is Tattad. The Tattad is stamping feet on the floor. Slowly I will teach you and show you those Adavus in the later part. First we will do the basic exercises for the Bharatanatya. Then we will start with the first alphabet or the first Adavus of Bharatanatya that is called as Tattad. How, what is how to do the Tattad in Bharatanatya is start the flow. Tattu means head. So how to do it? Just you have to first type hit, right, right, left, right and left, right and left. So keeping the armati is the posture and hitting right of the left. Hit one on the right and one on the left is the first step. I am doing my right. When you are doing it and you, you have to do it with your, your right because it will be the image. You will want if you if, if you follow me, then you will be hitting the left side. That's why you have to hit your right leg when I am hitting my right leg. I forget to tell you, when you are doing the third pedal, keep your hand like this on your waist. It should be like this throughout the step. And if you are if you are ball, you have to keep it like this. Ardha Chandra on the hand, it should be on the waist. For girls, keep it put down.
should not watch in the moment. Totally your eyes is focused with the audience or the front. That is when you are doing that too, it should be compulsory part. The next one is third kattadu. How to do the third kattadu is hitting three. As three is an odd number. All of our adu, adu, most of our adu pattern in the even number pattern. Okay. Before going to the third kattadu, I will explain little bit more about the Bharatanatyam. What is that? Bharatanatyam, we use Karnatic music. Karnatic, there are two types of music. One is Karnatic and one is Hindustani. Hindustani music has a little different type and the Karnatic music has little different varieties. How Kathak and Bharatanatyam is different? The same as Karnatic and Hindustani music is different. The Tara systems are in the Karnatic music are there are different talas. There are seven different talas in the five different genres. I will not go much deeper in the, the, that area as I have a limited time. So, in the, uh, in the basic adabus, we normally do it in the adita, which is a count of eight. As eight is an even number, doing third third in the even number, whether we have to make it three as four or two. There is an option so that we can do it in the evenly, we can substitute this thing. Then, what we are doing is making 3 as 4. How we are doing? Hitting 3 and giving 4 as a pause. Then again hitting 3. Then it will become 4 and 4. We are doing 3 but giving 4 beat as a pause or a silent. We are not hitting that but the beat will be there. We call it as pause the silent word as as it is a number of three, we have to make it as four or make it as a two. Because we are doing it as a four, how we are doing hitting three and giving four as a pause. We call it as a karma in the Bharatanatya. And and then again you have to hit the three. And this the same series will continue. The first speed, second speed, third speed. First speed you have to give the more carve, the second speed will be the lesser carve. Hmm? This is called the third kattadu. How we have to do it is one, two, three, carve, one, two, three, pause. You should not watch somewhere else. The drishti you have to keep 
ಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸಮದೃಷ್ಟಿ
another Padma and watch it to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rotate the other Padma towards the down side and connect with your eyes to the other side. I will show as the constraint of time. We will do only one type of this Ghatadu. Then next we will move to the Tatai Taita Madhu. Before going to talk about the Tatai Taita Madhu, I will talk something about the Bharatanakyam. Why we have to learn or why we have to do sadhana in this art about that. See, if you learn the Bharatanakyam, we learn the dance form it is a one thing. Along with the dance, you also learn the music. Because without music, dance is incomplete. And along with the music, you also learn the tala. Because if you, if you are not in the tala, you cannot dance it at all. So, tala, music and the expressions. The eye movements it is very very important. That through eye movement only you connect with the audience. So, eye movement is very essential and all these things, when you are dancing, your mind is going continuously with the tara and ear is going continuously with the music, eyes are going continuously with the hands, gestures, legs are doing all the taras on the feet. So, it means total, whole body is involved in doing that thing. Then only the item or dance or the steps looks beautiful. See. Your total mind body is totally connected to the at the moment. It will not be totally occupied by that. So when you are doing all these things together means you are fully activated. This means. Mahalakshmi is the ardent devotee of everyone. For especially for Kalapur people, she is everybody's Devi. She is everything. Mata, Amma. We call it like in a with the different names. Today I have chosen this shloka where everybody they start with this shloka Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarva Atasadhi. I have chosen this shloka to teach you. Let us see how we can do it. Sarva 
Ike Sharanyi Trimbake Devi Narayani Namaste Ganesha or Ganapati is a god of everybody. He is a Sukhakarta and Dukkaharta. Today we will do one shloka of Ganesha. It is Mushita Vahana, Modaka Asta, Chamala Karna, Vilambita Sutra, Vamana Rupa, Maheshwara Putra, Vitna Vinashata, Pada Namaste. Take Mukura on the left hand, Shikara on the right hand. What you have to do is Mushita. Vamana Modaka Asta. Left hand Kamala, right hand Patapa. Chamala Karna Shikarada, left hand, right hand. Vamana Rupa Maheshwara Putra. Vigna Vinashaka Pada Namaste. Shall I repeat again? Mushika Pahana Mudaka Asta Chakarna Lamni Sutra Vamana Rupa Mani Putra Vigna Nashara Pada Maste. We will do with the music.
थैंक यू एवरी वन फॉर लर्निंग विथ मी डांसिंग इज ऑलवेज अ हैप्पीनेस भरतनाट्यम हैज ऑलवेज गिवन इट्स एस्पिरेंट मोर देन वॉट दे एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम इट I thank the music department of Shivaji University for giving me a wonderful opportunity to share my knowledge with you all. Keep practicing, keep dancing. If you have any doubts, please contact music department of Shivaji University for the clarifications. Thank you.